Villa Amarante. This is the front gated entrance, but as a point of reference, there's the castle. And we're right at the top of this hill just above the St. Croix Yacht Club. Nice entrance, little curve, brickwork, stonework. Sorry, I'm breathing a little hard. I just walked up the driveway. <sighs> Got the Bermuda style Hypalon roof. Extra parking spot here. Now the, the additional lot, there's two lots. The house sits on one. The other lot, which goes in perpetuity, wraps around all the way down by the yacht club. So if you wanted to add a guest house or more parking or reconfigure the driveway entrance to come, you know, I was kind of thinking you could, instead of having it come up and over, you could actually have it go more of a straight line out and over to another unit or whatever, but just a thought. But here we are in the car park area. There's another entrance into the bedroom and kitchen down there, which we'll get to in a moment. But for now, we're going to go inside Villa Amarante. You come into this courtyard, you've got a courtyard. You have a main house to the left, guest house to the right. Nice tiled pool with a travertine coping. Little nook there and there has speakers, um, stereo speakers that play out here, which is nice. And then here you are looking over Teague Bay, Buck Island, and uh, the St. Croix Yacht Club dock and the St. Croix Yacht Club mooring field. And there is Great Point out there on the very point. So you've got a little sitting area off of the guest house. Oops, let me zoom back out here. And then a long covered patio there and also one off the master further down. But that's sort of the outdoor area with a couple of puppies coming at me. Nice diamond bright pool, dual drains. Got a bench seating area along with your steps going in here. And then this pergola that covers this outdoor dining area. Easily enclosable if you wanted to make it a hypalon roof. I just match that sort of design and this could be completely shaded, but really nice sitting area. Looking east here, so good breeze. Wind's coming a little out of the south today, but... Okay, that's the outdoor area as I enter. Now we'll do inside the main house. Okay, as you enter, you come into a nice foyer area. And you notice the custom mahogany arched door, real nice, that looks like eight foot. I think they're all eight foot in here. Little sitting area here, crank out window there. Come in, here's your round dining table. Doors out to the outdoor dining area. So if you want to open these up, do an indoor outdoor dining setup, you can do that. Central air duct. Again, this was owner built. So had some rentals, not very many. They rent it from time to time, but it's not like a promoted major VRBO type property. So it has very little wear and tear feel to it. Serious beams running up there. Very well built house. Owner oversaw the building of the house. Custom local crusion, mahogany top. Nice uh, live edge to it. And sort of like an ocean spray type of tile. Gas cooktop, electric range, fridge and micro, dishwasher. Nice arched window there over the sink. So these are big windows that you can crank these open and really get some airflow in here. Hamburger for dinner. Little wine rack there. And then a pantry off to the side with some cabinets built in. Access to the AC handler. As you can see, it's there. And there's the way you get into it. Owner really thought it out when he built this place. As he said, it was built for their retirement home and they've enjoyed it. And 
So a lot of thought went into it. And here's the controller for the AC in this zone. And now we'll head down the hall. As you come in to the right, you've got a guest bedroom. That's a queen size bed. Another AC zone here. Furniture is a little different than I'd set it up, but you've got an awesome view, obviously, from this bedroom, which is on the ocean side. Cistern cover here. And then walk in closet here, which is kind of full of stuff right now, but it is a walk in. And then full bath right off of the guest bedroom here. AC return there. Okay, so that's the full bath for the guests. It also doubles as a guest bath for the living room area. Continuing down, take a quick left. You've got washer dryer, laundry room. Cabinets with all your stuff in it. And these, this house is um, power, water heaters are Renai propane on demand. There's, I think there's three of them. And then this door is like, if you're living here and you're just coming home, this is the quick way in closest to the kitchen. As you can see, I started the video up at the gate. We came in that formal gate. And then this is the, you know, owner's entrance generators over there we'll get to that in a minute and then this had they haven't put it back but this had a fabric um shade canopy over here you can see the connection point there and so this you could easily put one back or cover this if you wanted to do a structure but they had a fabric thing they just they're leaving island so they're not have they don't have it up now but and then out here you get your trash your propane for the stove and the condenser that runs the acs so this is your quick day-to-day -day entrance where you'd go straight into the kitchen. Or if you're tired, you go straight into the bedroom, which is this way. Okay, to the right is the master bedroom. Which has doors out to the patio that's covered out here let's see if this is open and go out there a quick peek trex decking and that's looking back to the other covered patio off of the um while we're out here let's just run over there so this is the living room dining kitchen area so this is a really nice place to sit. This will have shade almost throughout the day. Towards the end, as the sun comes down to the west, they do have a roll down remote controlled shade that pulls down here and it blocks off this opening right here, which gives this area some shade. And then steps down to the uh, mechanical rooms, which we'll go to in a minute. Let me finish in here. Cistern overflows there. So there's the master bedroom. And now we're going to go into closet to the left. Again, you got your eight foot doors, nice trim. And then your master bathroom with double vanities, shower. With a glass block and then this connects to the third bedroom which they use as an office they used to keep grandkids in here so this would be like if you had 
you know, a renter that had adults with kids. This is a closeout. So once that's closed, it then has access through the hall. As you can see, I came down the hallway here where that half bath is, laundry room there with that door out. This guest room could use that guest bath or tie into the master bath depending on the lifestyle and whether or not, you know, there's munchkins involved or, but that makes this a three bedroom, two bath. Okay, that's the main house. Now we're gonna shoot across the pool patio over to the guest house. Okay, just left the main house, back into the pool patio area. As you can see, there's the bench seat we talked about earlier. Stereo speakers outside, straight across here. You get a nice patio drain, which is real convenient. Looking back to the front entrance and into the two bedroom guest house. So it's an up and down. Downstairs you have a private suite and then upstairs here you have the adjacent, I guess you could call it the master bedroom. Mini fridge, easily convertible to full size if you wanted to. It's got an outlet there. Obviously there's one below. Corner cabinet, stainless sink with garbage disposal and a two burner cooktop, which for a guest house is all you really need, obviously. Do have this split system air conditioner in here. And then out to a nice little chill area. Door coming out from the upstairs bedroom as well. All right, let's go peek at the bedroom here. Now this has a king size bed. It fits very comfortably here. And then this is looking over to the other lot. I think they're about an acre and a quarter each for a total of just short of two and a half. And the owners told me they, they're joined in per perpetuity. They have to be sold together. You can't sell one off separately, but you can build additional. It's like a separate buildable plot though. So if you wanted to add another villa or a guest casita or whatever, you could do that over there or another big house. It's up to you. Okay. That's the upstairs bedroom. Now we're going to shoot down. I think if I was staying here, this is the bedroom I'd want because it's kind of tucked away from everybody else. Bath, as soon as you come in, it's a full bath. Looks like a copper sink. Yep. Nice, nice um, glass inset tile. Little bench there for shaving the legs. Then AC unit, another king size sleigh bed. Closet off to the left. I think that one's pretty deep. Let me see how big this is. Yeah, three feet ish. And then out this door is mechanical. So we'll go do that now. One last shot looking up at the stairs and then out to the mechanical area. Just walked out from the lower guest bedroom level onto a tiled patio here. A nice little covered patio actually. This could be set up with some maybe lounge furniture, a hammock, whatever. And then you come into the pool pump room. You've got the IntelliFlow inverter pump, salt chlorinator pool pilot set up. All nice and clean. You got a sub panel here. I think that's a patio drain. Just really neat and tidy and relatively new. Everything's in good condition. And then this huge space down here, which is covered, could easily become enclosable, maybe with some glass windows or doors for a gym or a, you can do an additional bedroom or like a wine cellar or, but I mean, there's a lot of usable space. You got the wall here, pour the floor, come up with whatever thing you already got the ceiling 
so it's watertight. There's probably 60 by 10, 600 square feet of usable, easily enclosable space. And then back up to the master bedroom patio there. Um, but I mean, you could really utilize this. I think for a gym, it'd be fantastic because you could cut these sea grapes down and big glass here, all air conditioned. You just have an air conditioned gym with an awesome view. And then we come down to the other end of the house. Come into the uh, mechanical room, which has the solar net metering Sunny Boy inverter charge controller. Or that's actually not a charge controller, that's just an inverter. So this does have a net metering solar permit, which is awesome. This is a sewer plant air pump that comes on a timer from time to time. Automatic transfer switch for the 20 kW brand new generator, literally just a couple months old. New water pump. This is a redundant pump. Um, there's actually two submersible pumps that are controlled by this system, which is down at the moment. He's working on getting that fixed, but this is a normal cistern pump. I can explain that more in detail later. Two cisterns, west and east, pulling off of the east right now. West is off. And then you get your filters, ultraviolet and then your home runs to the uh, various bathrooms and such. But a nice big mechanical room with a lot of room for storage. You could easily put a bunch of shelving along there. This would hold paddle boards, long stuff. And then down here is the, uh, the little sewer plant, which actually puts out um, gray water, wastewater, which is tied into an irrigation system so you can recycle that. The black water is turned into gray water and you can use it on plants. Okay, I've come back up to around to the driveway. This is the owner's parking spot here. You can see some of the panels up there and some along the south side as well. It's a 5kW which you could expand easily. Bring that up to like a 15kW and you could you'd never run out of power. You could run AC all the time. He's got that locked right now, but this is a new 20 kW diesel with I think that's a 300 gallon belly tank. It used to, the old one was in this generator building. It was propane. The tank sat there. Now it's just like an open building for storage. But if it were me, this little shack would become my battery room. I would load that with batteries and charge controllers and inverter. And then this would be tied into it because it's a newer unit. That shouldn't be a problem as your backup to your solar. So that is the house. I'm trying to think if I've missed anything. I think that's everything. Did the guest house, the main house, the outdoor patio, downstairs, enclosable area. I think we're good. Got a little turn around back in nook here. And uh, here we are back to where we started. Villa Amarante. Hope you like it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.